Joy back with another banger. Well, this video is gonna be very short. I think, you know, <laughs> I just started, but you know, once I start running my mouth, baby, you just don't know. So I have lots of anxiety. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Okay. So I have lots of anxiety in my chest. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. Because I always get this way just before school starts. And school starts, what is today? I don't even know. I think school starts in two weeks. Two weeks, well, school starts in two weeks. So I always get a lot of anxiety, dreams and everything um, before school starts. And I'll be implementing a new way of teaching, thinking. It's a whole new thing. And it's like I'm trying to start. But it's hard. It's like everything is just jumbled in my head right now. And then I've been having printer issues. It's just been... Rrr. But you know, anything that comes easy, you know. Mm. So I'm expecting problems along the way and hiccups and stuff to work out. So, okay. I'm trying to process it, y'all. So my room is upside down. I'm hoping to get inside my classroom tomorrow because they painted the entire school. So everything has been moved into the middle of the room and it looks like a big bonfire. Um, we will not be allowed to put anything on the walls until September, which it is what it is. You know, your girl just it is what it is. What what can I do? <laughs> Nothing. So, I, I, why complain about it? There's nothing I can do about it. They say that it takes 60 days for the paint to cure. If they paint, excuse me, if they paint it in June, July, August, anyway, it is what it is. So, and I've also mentioned that I plan to do car living, car living, van living. At this point, I don't know, but I will not renew this lease after next year. My battery is dying. So, so I want to downsize. And I said I was going to start with the mugs. I'll do that later. I've been dealing with printer issues. And so I have a, my dining room table. And if you don't know, my classroom kind of looks like a living room or a home. So I don't have any free public school education desks in my room and this could technically go on my teaching channel but i need your opinion i mean i it's really been bothering me hold on let me change my battery and then we're gonna go downstairs hold on hold on calm down calm down say hey to chucky hey chucky how y'all doing how y'all doing <laughs> go downstairs and the house is a mess so it is what it is okay So this is my little dining room area, messy. Bobby has some more tomatoes and mozzarella cheese. Okay, so this is the dining room table, okay? It is so heavy and I'm thinking about painting this black and doing some design like the table I did for the lady, right? And painting the legs and stuff black. And it is super, super, super heavy. But the dilemma is, you know, I want to downsize for my car, van, box, living, or whatever it is. We know I won't be here. I'm holding to that. And it's doable. And there are certain pieces that I want to keep, certain pieces that I'll give away. But my point is, I know once I really start downsizing the furniture, I'm really not going to want to sell this. Because it does hold sentimental value to me, too. There are lots of stories I can tell about this table. And really, we don't sit here that much. I mean, we do, but we don't. And I, and I did say in an earlier video that I would bring my patio furniture in here, which I do want to keep because I do like it, but I don't use it. <laughs> so, the table, I'm not going to want to deal with it when it's really time to, you know, let stuff go. So I'm like, do I take it to the classroom? I mean, it's huge. And the new way that I should have been teaching and more, um, what's the word? I should have been more proactive about it. But I'm still, I was still wrapping my brain around it. Sometimes processing, it takes me a long time to process things. It really, just like it took me almost a year to design the ladies' table. If you haven't seen that video, you need to check that video out of me um, reupholstering and redecorating whatever a ladies' table set. So anyway, 
I have to do more group work. The learning needs to be in groups. But when I think of groups, I just think of excessive talking, 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 talking. So, but that's what I have to do. There's no way around it. And so up to eight people could sit here. I wouldn't want eight people there because I just think of the talking and I got rid of several things. I know people said your classroom was already packed. No, I got rid of six um, seats in the room. So that means I need to bring six more seats back. You see what I'm saying? For the group. So the table is so huge. I don't know what to do. Do because I have to rent a U-Haul to bring this big thing. This won't fit in anybody's car. So I have to rent a U-Haul and make that trip to drop it off, have somebody to help me because it's too heavy. Um, it'll, it'll probably need about three or four people for this table. So and then I can just put it in the classroom and leave it. And if I decide to leave, this table will say. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But I don't want to sell it. And I don't want to put it in storage either because it's too heavy. It's not very manageable. Let me know what you think because then this won't have a table unless I just get a little fold out. But we can sit at the counter. I don't know. Just, I don't know what to do, y'all. It, it's just such a big table. <sighs> I mean, I really do like it and I would like to keep it. So, this is my little area. I don't know. The thing is, I'm trying to rationalize what to do here as I because I'm going to try to get into my classroom tomorrow to assess and start putting things back into the areas where they belong. And I switched the room up a little in my head and I have a blueprint of my room of all the furniture and stuff. And so when I was doing my training program of the new way that I'm supposed to be teaching and implementing, um, I showed the lady my blueprint, the layout of the room. And she was like, well, this, this, this. And so she came up with some of the um, suggestions um, based on a program and how it's run. And um, I need to get another long table from the school for the testing area. And I need another, I need another group table. I looked online, I don't wanna buy anything else. I kinda wanna use what I have. And then if I get, if I bring this table into school, it means that I'm going forward with my plan of van, car, box, RV living. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I'm putting the wheels in motion. And we really don't sit here unless it's Thanksgiving. No, we do, but we don't. I don't know how many times I can say that. We, we do, but we don't. It's not the hub of the house. Well, the kind of the kitchen. I don't know. And I... Just let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit your bells your post notification so you know the next time I upload a video because I am going to be coming to you guys for more information as I go through this journey, this slow transition journey into car living, box living, RV living, van living, whatever it'll be, but it's gonna be something. All right, let me know. Bye, y'all.